This is the uh, AARL section of uh, Hamvention here. They have the uh, ARRL laboratory. Uh, so they're testing ha uh, your radios. And it's really cool to do here because a lot of the, the guys here, you know, this is swap meet, so there's a lot of um, used products going around. And it's good to just be informed anyways if, you know, um, with all the new radios on the market to see and make sure they're in compliance, make sure they're putting out the power that they're supposed to be putting out. But uh, so these guys here are actually connecting the FT60R that I just bought. Um, and so if you could tell me a little bit about kind of what you're testing for. Yeah, we're testing for spurious emissions to be in it, uh, whether or not we are in FCC compliance. So the FCC has the Part 97 307E rules, which it is outlined what, uh, what we need to um, achieve. For example, at the 5 volt power level, um, we need to be 53 decibels below the period to be in compliance with the FCC rules. And that's what we're testing today. Yeah. Actually, uh, for your radio, um, I don't know how to unlock it. So our first test would be on the two meter band um, and we set it usually to high power and then uh, on the screen here we will see a fundamental frequency. We will also see harmonics. Um, usually nothing to worry about if you see harmonics. It's just we want to make sure the harmonics don't get too high because if they're too high then this would mean the radio would be not in compliance. Right. Yeah. Right. So we're, we're going to see that on the screen here. Gonna, uh, we, see, uh, we see it on the screen right now. So the first the first big peak, that's your fundamental frequency. We can see that the second harmonic is on about minus 70 decibels down, which is very good. The third one is at even him. Yep. 65 down. And the fourth one, minus 75. Which is really good because since this is a 5 watt radio, again, we need to be at fifth, minus 53 dB or below. And we can see that we're in full compliance here. Typically, we also run a test on 440. By the FCC rules, we don't really need to because it really doesn't cover anything above 220. Mm -hmm. But uh, I didn't know that. I want to see like, how good the. Um, or how clean the signal is. So same test here, 70 centimeters. And we can see the second harmonic at about minus 70 dB. We can see a subharmonic at minus 60 dB below. Again, that would mean it's, it's a very clean radio. And there are no issues with that unit. Well, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. Um, have you all seen a lot of radios that come through here that weren't in compliance as you've been doing this? We have seen some. Uh, may, may, okay. We're not in compliance, but yeah. it's really a hit and miss because some of those they work pretty fine, some of those they don't. Gotcha. Hey, uh, I, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for that. Yes, you all have a good day. Thank you, thank you. Cool. Got the radio tested. They gave me this uh, neat little sticker that tested by the ARL lab. But uh, yeah, that, that was that was pretty cool. But this is just a short upload. Just wanted. I just thought that was pretty neat that they're offering that and it's free. You don't have to have a membership or anything. So thank you guys for watching and 73.